Hi dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today I decided to take a look at a um, super flexible nib, the well-known Zebraji fountain pen. I have uh, seen many fountain pen lovers, especially those that love calligraphy, that have, they have tried to install a uh, super flexible nib onto a Jinhao uh, number 6 nib carriers such as 159, the X450 and the X500. I'm, I've been interested for a, quite a while to purchase a um, flexible fountain pen. Uh, unfortunately, nowadays they are very hard to find and very expensive. And there was always also the option to purchase the uh, vintage Watermans, like Waterman 52, but this also, there is some risk involved in purchasing this and you might get a, um, a bad one and you will spend for quite a lot of money. So therefore I've tried this cheap version first because Jin Hao can be purchased um, very cheaply these fountain pens directly from eBay just as the super flexible Zebra G uh, nibs. Uh, the installation of this nib is not so difficult. There are some tricks to it. First of all you have to uh, match the curvature of the nib with that of uh, the feed and after that it's fine and then you have to align it and the key is here that we see that here the first cut in the nib should be aligned with the first cut in the feed and then it should work quite well you see it here other than that there's not much to it you also have to keep in mind that the feeds were not designed so that um, they keep up with the super, super flexible nibs so it will railroad some time and at some point they will also stop working in which case you will have to uh, prime it a little bit and then it will give you quite a lot of time to write with until you have to prime it again another reason why I wanted to take a look at the Zebra G super flexible nibs is because I wanted to see if this can be used as an everyday carrier, everyday writer. And therefore I'm going to do a writing sample and I'm going to share some of my experience with you. So I will zoom out a little bit the camera so you can see a little bit more of the text. And you see now I kept it uncapped for quite a while, so probably the ink have dried out. One of the main reasons why the Jinhao pen feeds are not so good is because they are plastic and therefore very hydrophobic. The ink doesn't wet very well, so therefore the capillary action is very poor. I've been also interested thinking to try to make this hydrophilic by some chemical treatment since I'm a chemist and I can do this kind of modifications, but maybe in the next video. For right now, I'll just do a writing sample. So first I'm going to go a little bit slow and then I'll write a little bit faster just to demonstrate whether this can be used as an everyday carrier or not. So here we go. Let's try first and see this really writes where I have to prime it. You also notice I, it's not capped right now, but this because capping on X450 is so horrible, it slides back out. I'm also not in a very comfortable position now because of the camera, but I'll try my best. So let's start. You see, it hard starts. So the fit is really not the greatest. You see here, the ink just doesn't come out. Has been drying a little bit. So now there you go. So the idea of writing super flex is that you go gentle on the upstrokes here and the downstrokes you put a little bit more pressure. So 
let's see if I manage that sometimes it will rail road so why are these flexible nibs important apart from calligraphy well I would say they are not really important but they are a lot of fun for the fountain pen lovers and they are unbelievably relaxing So, text doesn't really fit in here. I try to write a little bit smaller and faster. Let's see. I think you can now already hear that it's a little bit scratchy. The reason I'm trying to write faster is to show whether to demonstrate or to see whether this is really a pleasant experience and then can be used in all kinds of conditions. Apart from the feed, I think these nibs are quite a lot of fun and they can write pretty well. In, with a feed in this condition, it, um, you have to prime the pen, but as you can see it keeps up quite well for a while so it gives you some moments of joy I really have to uncap this because it's really horrible and heavy so so what I've noticed about this is it's kind of scratchy and I've also tried to polish it a little bit with the polishing cloth just to make it a little bit of a smoother experience and therefore I'm not getting let's say supra extra fine extra fine like it was in the beginning but I must say, say that still it's uh, quite fine I would say this is a fine and watch how much I can adjust from fine medium medium broad super broad see it will railroad pretty quickly but if you prime the feet right now let's see a little bit but not too much so that the ink doesn't pearl up at the end at the peak of the nib if it pearls up this jinhao will leak out and the ink will come on the paper so let's see now again no pressure very fine line could be extra fine depending on what standard you have if it's Asian it's not really fine it's not uh, extra fine it will be a fine fine medium and then we'll go to medium broad broad really broad but now it will railroad but you see anyways that you give have lots of line variation 
and you can write here flex flex try to go a little bit more gentle on it I'll try again there you go flex so it's quite a lot of fun what I also want to do is to write a little bit faster let's see how Now to really write, write calligra calligraphically in a very fast way is not possible but you still see that some line variation is possible once you get used to it. My difficulty here is also I forget to try to go gentle on uh, upstrokes and then press harder on the downstroke as you can probably also hear this uh, there's some kind of scratchy experience to it so that makes it a little bit more difficult to to use a little bit less pleasant to use less pleasant user experience let's say so it's kind of annoying <clears throat> apart from that Although it is scratchy, I polished a little bit and made it in my to my likes. And I think right now it's quite a decent pen. It railroads a little bit as you can see. And the question now comes whether I can chemically modify the surface of the feet so that I can get the feet to keep up much better with the ink flow Some quite quite some nice line variation here. Sometimes the the feet really keep up if you are patient and you give it some time to recover. Not bad, I would say. I don't have much experience with flexible nibs, but I must say I'm not very disappointed. My first experience seems to be quite good and I'm quite pleased with, with it. I'm gonna prime it a little bit more just to see if it will still railroad on me
that is too much priming the the pen started to to drip now so you see now you get a huge line variation once you have primed the nib so again no pressure and then now a little bit harder broad double broad and then now it's huge huge line variation huge so if I manage to modify this nib to make it more hydrophilic will probably do have a much more pleasant experience with it all right so I hope this was useful and I thank you for watching and I will see you next time bye bye